Obviously, with the loss, it doesn't mean anything if we don't win. So, five, five and nine. Where does this team go from here? And how do you, how do you try to finish the season strong? Conversations you guys had as a defense, especially in the second half when yep. points were hard to come by on your end and Houston was starting to get some momentum. Yeah, we would just say, you know, it, it comes down to us. Like, we have to kind of build a spark. We have to create the spark, uh, score on defense if, if need be, and, uh, you know, try and give the offense some, some energy and some enthusiasm. How do you feel guys stepped up, um, not only in the secondary, but in that front yeah. um, with everyone who's out? Yeah, I mean, we got out there with the quarterback, and it's good to see some new faces kind of, you know, make impacts on the game and all that stuff. So, um, you know, like I said, would have been a, we'd be celebrating a lot more if we got the W. So. You mentioned Case Keno. I mean, he was he was got to come in there all day. I mean, he didn't play his best, but it seemed like he played his best when when his team needed it. Yeah, I mean, we were we were pressuring him, and he, he was getting hit back there. And like you said, and he ended up winning the game for him. So, uh, hats off to him. Excellent. Elijah, why do you think it is that there are moments for you guys and stretches and maybe a few series where it seems like you're playing your best ball and then that seems to flip so quickly within the course of the game? I'm not sure. I think that's just the game of football. You know what I mean? It's We want to be perfect every play and that's not, you know, that's not realistic. Um, usually it's just it comes down to... Uh, you know, one guy out of 11 people not, you know, not executing or, or whatever the case may be. But um, and we played some good ball on both sides of the, you know, on both sides. But we just got to be more consistent. Across the board, you know, that's just how the league is. Sometimes, you know, even if you play your best and you fight as hard as you could, you end up losing some of them games, and that's just how this league works. Keaton, you know, a veteran guy. I mean, he took his lumps out there today, but he kept battling. I mean, yep. what can you say about the way he played today? I mean, he battled. I mean, that's what we expected from, you know, a guy like him, you know, a veteran player who's been in the league and been on a couple of teams. We knew he was going to come out here and fight and, and give it everything we had, and that's what he did. And kudos to, kudos to him for, you know, coming out victorious. That final drive, you know, he was able to make that one play to Singletary to kind of get them into um, field goal range. How mm -hmm. tough was that to give up? Because, like you said, you guys were hardly giving up anything all game. Yeah, um, I guess it's just tough because especially, like, you know, if that happens, you know, earlier in the game, you know, we give it up and we have time to, you know, regroup and come back. But it just sucks. It was a scrambled, scrambled play. He found the open guy. Someone's loose. Um, and then they just made a play. Five and nine. But, uh, what's going to be the mindset for you guys for the remaining games? Um, find a way to improve and find a way to uh, be better because um, we still have games to play. So we can't just tuck our tail and, and hide and, you know, be, we need to hold ourselves accountable. We got to go out and be professionals and, you know, do our job. Thanks, Hook. Appreciate it. Um, I don't know. I just think like for me, that's just been my whole life. Um, I've always been a fighter. My mom always told me, you know, I don't come from kings and queens, but I come from warriors and survivors. So I just think that's just how I've always been. There's so many people in the world going through so many worse things. Um, so I think when you just look at the totality of what's going on, it's like, okay, you got the flu. You're not dead, you know. And um, while it did suck for sure. I think just drawing my strength knowing that there's other people going through a lot worse in this world. So um, I just perspective, I guess. And as a leader on this team, I imagine that's part of your message um, as, as you guys try and finish out the season. But how will you kind of prompt these guys to finish strong? Yeah, I think it goes without without explaining. Like I don't expect anybody to you know tuck their tail or you know pack it up. Like in the day, we got three games left, and you know this 2023 group that we have. It's going to be the last time that we get to play together for these last three games. And you know, we got to take full advantage of it, take it one day at a time, show back up to work, and try to like finish the season strong. Yeah, it was frustrating. Um, you know, it's had, it. had opportunities there to win the game. Um, just wasn't able to do it. Um, credit to them. You know, they were able to play well. And, you know, I feel like we just got to bounce back, get guys healthy, and, and go on the next one. First drive, obviously, it was so crisp, and uh, you guys looked great. What, ha what happened offensively the rest of the game to not allow you guys to move the ball and score more points? Um, you know, I feel like, personally, I know there were some misassignments. They're not really just poor technique and blocking and stuff like that. Not able to cover guys up. Um, I feel like that could have helped if I were able to do that, just to, to get get guys blocked so you know, the running back can run free. Uh, you did obviously did a great job against Garrett. 
and guys not being able to step up and, and when their when their numbers were called, what do you what do you think was some of the issues were there? Uh, I mean, I missed a lot of the, a lot of the game once I went out with my hand, uh, so I can't really sit, say from what happened there. But uh, yeah, I mean, we just got to cover guys up and, and give them. You can't have free hitters on the running backs. So that's not really makes it, it makes it too hard for them to to try to get a run off when there's someone in their face right off the bat. Five and nine, obviously, still have games left. You know, what do you guys have to do to finish the season strong? Yeah, I mean, we just got to take this approach of you know next game and just trying to make the most of it. Uh, you know, we got a, another tough opponent ahead of us, um, and then a couple more divisional games. So we got meaningful football left. Uh, we you know we have the ability at least to you know create some momentum going forward. Um, so yeah, it's just trying to find a way to win the next game and do it again. How was that? Game? How personally do you take you know, having two guys in front of you getting in? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely yeah. a huge yeah. impact. You know, that's the pride of the line. This is a protected quarterback yeah. line. I'm thinking that you're that. Yeah, you feel it. You know, you feel it and it sucks. And you can't help but blame yourself and uh, try to get better because that's, that's what the line is there for is to protect the quarterback. And, you know, them getting injured means you're not doing that job. So. Derek Howard's done better yard for carry. Mike just said, you know, we've had a lot of games where over the years we weren't efficient running and eventually popped on, so that was kind of his explanation for keeping going back to it. What, what, needed, what needed to happen for you guys in order for the results to change? You know, I think it starts with, you know, 11 guys working as one. And, um, you know, obviously we want to get the run game going with Derek. That's kind of where we are. Um, and, you know, have to keep that going and keep being efficient with that. And that's 11 guys knowing they're assigned to get their job done. Um, you know, so I look in the mirror and it starts with being right and better. Um, but the run game is so, you know, it takes everyone. But it ain't quite good enough. Do you feel like you're, do you collectively feel like you're smashing your hand against a brick wall, or do you feel every time like this is going to be the one? No, I think you know everyone you know is, is pretty faithful in that sense. You know, we know we have a great back, we know we can spring on. Um, so guys just keep, you know, keep hammering a little bit. I don't think anyone feels like you know frustrated in that sense. Everyone wants to get back on the run game, get it going. Like I said, we're committed to that. We got to get it done. We did. What'd you do? what you do when you had to come out for a minute? Oh, just a little stinger. Just a matter of bringing more numbers than you guys do. It's hard to say um, without watching it, but um, you know, I think it's just assignments and guys get on the right guys and you know, executing blocks. Um, you know, it's not always complicated like that. Just guys got to win and guys got to do their job. Thank you.